some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. The car at the moment. It's it's not a car. It's an automobile. Well, automobile. And, and I we, we call it a car. Mechanically propelled vehicle. We call yeah, it. Yeah, that's. that's Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a Irish sovereign citizen who tries the American sovereign citizen crap on the Irish cops, such as the Uniform Commercial Code, which we all know doesn't govern the U.S. law, U.S. codes, and even a Supreme Court case that he thinks is valid, even though... Well, you'll have to see for yourself. In the meantime, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I know I say it a lot in my videos, and there's a good reason for it, but citation needed, please. I mean, failure to wear your hat equals you not being a cop or a guard? Wow. Does that mean all the times that I didn't wear my school identification badge that I wasn't actually employed for the schools? Uh, I don't think so. And, uh, why are you stopping me? I'd like you to give a response to my question first. I'm not stopping you. I'm just asking about this car. You're not yeah. driving it. No, I don't drive. I travel. Who's driving, so? I said I travel. So who drives? Do you car? know what the definition of driving is? Okay. Can you just give me your driver's license, please? I don't drive. I don't have a driver's license. Okay. So who does drive the car? Nobody drives the car. So how did the car get here? It's not a car. It's an automobile. Okay. This is an automobile, and I travel right. in it. If you don't know the difference between traveling and driving, you don't need to be in law enforcement. Yeah, that's ironic coming from you, considering that you don't know the difference between any definitions either, and you're about to use U.S. codes in Ireland. That is the complete definition of stupidity right there. Well, not the real definition, but close enough. Right, sir. What yeah. I'm going to ask you first, you're not, you don't have our permission to record us. Yeah, I can, okay, I can I'm record you. I'm going to make that very clear to you first. I don't need your now, permission, to be honest. Yes, but you, you do need our permission. I'm in a public area? Yes, yeah. I have yes. the right to record anyway. That's what Come on, officer. Don't worry about him filming you. Use that to your advantage. Take advantage of the Sobtar stupidity. Turn it around on him and use it against him. That's why, we, and you're after answering a question there. You're in a public area. Yeah. We've demanded documents from you. You can demand anything it's you want. It's up to you to produce them. If you don't, we can seize the care. Okay. Is that a or threat? Section 41 of the Road Traffic Act 1961. It's no threat. It's a fact. We're covered by legislation. She's been very polite to you and she's asked you for documents. Okay. Uh, may I have your names, please? Yeah, John Bowen is my name. And, and Gardner Lind O'Leary is mine. Now, can we have Lind yours, please, and some identification? Uh, so, let me give you something first. Uh, first of all, let me get my family in the, in the automobile. No, that, no, that, that won't no, be until, until we see proof of insurance and driving license we can't let, let this vehicle go on the road we just want your identification please sir oh. when i asked for citations i meant something a lot better than this i mean something that you can actually read not an article that claims to be quoting the supreme court i mean where'd you get this Solve some soft tarred website and come to think of it the u.s supreme court wouldn't have any weight or bearing within any laws in Ireland. What are you thinking, dude? But of course, he's not done spouting off anything as the U.S. Softard would do. He's going to go to the Bill of Rights. He's going to go to the UCC. He's going to go do all that. But dude, again, this is Ireland. It's not the United States, and that stuff doesn't even work in the United States. Um, let me get something for you. You want to have one? Okay, thank you. Think about the Are you living local? I don't answer questions. Okay. So if you guys want my data, anything that has to do with me, first you need to fill this out. Oh, so you want that guard to fill out this pseudo legal document for what purpose now? I mean, I mean did you pull that uh, document out of your ass much like you did that article? I mean, it's still not going to work. None of it is working, dude. 
because we, no, no, sir. Um, you, you misunderstand. Because, because, because. I, first of all, I'm not looking to contract with you guys. I don't wish to contract with you. No, and if you want my data, you need to fill this out. No, we won't be filling anything out. Then I won't we, be giving we're, you anything. We're not required to then, give you any document. But, but what you are certainly required to do is give us your name and address and your details. So, okay. so. You know, at this point, I am not shocked that he has a misunderstanding of data laws and perjury. By this time, I have become numb to his stupidity. I have the insurance here. Come here. Bend it however you want, dude. But apparently, under Irish law, you are required to give your details. And it doesn't matter what the American courts say because you think that matters. But it's what matters is the Irish courts what they say. This is because it's a. It's not a. It's not a vehicle. It's an automobile. It's a private automobile. This is my insurance. Can I see your identification? Please? Yeah, of course you can. That's my domicile. That's your domicile, sir. Yes. yes. Thank you. And where is it you're originating from? Okay. Thank you. Is that real? Sure we don't know. Is the insurance that looks like a photocopy there? That insurance. I have the original. So, uh, can, do you mind if I ask you? Do you see these um, number plates? Yep. What's what's the position with them? It's uh, for common law court. What court? Common law court. It's common law court. International, yeah. Common law in what country? It's a uh, UK. That common law court issue does not have any jurisdiction in the United Kingdom, dude, let alone Ireland. What is your obsession with the laws of other countries? Learn the laws of your country, Ireland, not the laws of the United Kingdom, not the laws of the United States, not the laws of anywhere else in the world except your own. That's where you live. You don't live in the United States or UK. Common law, court in the UK. Yes, but it's international, so it's everywhere. But do you, but do you see these plates? Yep. They're 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 not corresponding with your NCT cert. That's because the plates I changed them when I bought the car. They belong to somebody else. So the person that owned the car before, he had this NCT test done before. So I didn't have to do another NCT because... So you changed the plates. When did you change the plates? When I bought the car. How long ago? About two, three months ago. I can't remember exactly. I'm going to caution you as follows. You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so. But whatever you do say will be taken down right and may be given in evidence. We are looking at a disc here on the windscreen. Yeah. And it's coming up on our system that, that it's stolen. It's stolen? Yeah, the registration number. It's an unauthorized take. And your response to this is to quote United States codes on false and misleading statements. You are not in the United States. Get that through your thick, soft, tarred skull. Oh, really? Yeah. The, uh, actually, the car, the car registration plate corresponding to that. So you've took, taken off the plates. Is that what you're telling me? So the previous plates were from the previous owner. Mm. He registered the car. But unfortunately, you are in possession of the car at the moment. It's it's not a car. It's an automobile. Well, automobile and car. and I've, we, I've we call it a car. Mechanically propelled vehicle. We call yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's what it's called under your codes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Your codes, as he says, unironically, while he decides to use codes from other countries that carry no weight in Ireland. Dude, how stupid are you? Oh wait, don't answer that question because there is no measurement for how stupid you are. Yeah. And that is for driving and driving is a commercial term for goods and service. Okay. And do you see any any goods in my car? 
in my automobile, sorry? No, but I, th I think you're, you're going past the Do, do you believe I'm made. engaged in commercial activity at the moment? No, but what I do believe is that, that the registration number that's denoted yeah. on that NCT certificate is yeah. coming up stolen an hour. I, I, I really don't believe that, actually. No, it is. No, it is no I don't believe that. No. Well, that's, that's okay. You're entitled yeah. to your beliefs. Um, we have to we have to have satisfy ourselves. I spent years working in customer service and I grew accustomed to absolute stupidity. So I can admire this officer for his ability to handle himself in the face of this much idiocy. Dice que dice que el carro le parece en el sistema como robado. Mm, está bien loco. Sir, when, when did you buy the car? About two or three months ago. I think I have the contract here. Oh, have you? Put I do, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I have the contract of the previous owner as well. His signature, his autograph, everything. Have you ever yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank of course, you. I have my evidence for court in case of anything like this is to come happen. Okay. Were you ever stopped before in this vehicle? Um, it's not a vehicle, I said already. Oh, yeah. Well, we call it a vehicle. Yes, that's the commercial words that you guys use to try to trick us into your, into your, all your stuff, you know. Oh, okay, we've all been tricked. We've all been tricked into taking tests to ensure that we are competent enough to drive these machines. We've all been tricked into getting insurance so we can pay for any damages that we may cause and any accidents that we may have. Okay, now it all makes sense. Well, not much sense. Well, for that matter, no sense at all. But I'm sure it makes all the sense in the world to this lead paint drinker who wants to use laws of other countries. This is our contract from the We're previous one. We're trying to trick you into anything. I know how you guys work. I used to be in the law enforcement before. Good. And I'm glad I know how you guys work, and and I know what games you guys you guys are playing. And you might know, you might think you're doing the right thing, but no, we have to. Right we have to satisfy ourselves that a vehicle is is fully insured and it's not stolen. I, I think. Yeah. Why well, it's not stolen? So <laughs> I'm just surprised you think that. Well, the reason we think, and I've explained it to yeah. you already, is this 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 NCT that doesn't correspond to your plates. That was from the previous owner. Yes. Yeah. It's shown that that vehicle registration yes. number that this vehicle. I think I think it's under his name. Yeah, that's the problem we yeah. have, sir. Okay, so you can see where we're coming from. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. Thank you. Let's do an hour inquiries first of all. Meta dentro del bebé si quiere. Have you got the um, keys of the vehicle, please? Sir. ¿Qué dijo? Okay. Well, well, apparently, I'd, I'd ask you not to put in anything there. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. No, I don't take orders from you. Oh, I'm please, afraid, please step I'm, away. I'm afraid, sir. You, you, you are. We're trying. My to baby's cold, and he needs to go in the car. Your baby's cold. In the vehicle, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. In the. You're, well, now you're tricking me. So it's well, my I'm automobile. Not, I'm not tricking you at all. We, we so believe that this vehicle. Please step may aside. Be, we believe this vehicle may be stolen. Sir. You're now interfering so with my travels. No, sir. We're yes. not, not in, interfering with any, any, anything. Mr. Right. No if you want to step back inside into the heat, you're, you're quite welcome. So do you want my wife and my baby to be out here in the cold? You, you can step back into the heat if you so wish. Dice, si quieres, se puede entrar a la tienda otra vez. Yeah, and we can, we, can drop you, we can drop you home if you so There's wish. no dropping you at home. We have, we I'm, have going, I'm going to go in my automobile. Yeah, well, it's as simple as that. Well, unfortunately, we have to satisfy ourselves. <laughs> so go, go and home. satisfy yourselves. Yes. And let my wife... And my children you can stay in our inside you can our automobile. In, inside in the uh, the shops. Okay, we're we're not trying to make a scene. Well, he clearly wanted to make a scene out of it. He posted it on YouTube and wanted to play the victim. So maybe you're trying to tell me that the person from before that I bought it from was stolen. No, I, I'm, I'm what I'm saying to you is that the disc you have on the windscreen. That registration plate yeah. is coming up stolen on, on our system. Mm. Dude, you have no idea what perjury is. It is when you're under oath in a court, you moron. And in addition, he is trying to clarify the situation to you, but you're not realizing it. 
For example, the car might have been reported as stolen at one point, and it was just never taken out of the system, and they need to clarify that kind of thing. They need to trace it back. Mm. Now, if, if you're cold, you're quite welcome to sit into our car. Que si quieren sentarse en el carro de Dios, the, the o puede entrar a la tienda, si quieren. Ok, and we'll drop you home, there's no problem. Ok, we, we just have to satisfy Bueno, va a dejar en la casa, dice. Que tienen que estar, está seguro que el carro no está robado. Vamos adentro entonces. Is that ok? We'll go inside. Ok, thank you. Are we set? No, sir. Sorry? How are you? Are we set now? Two seconds now, we're just com completing our inquiry. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my jacket. Now, what's, what's gonna happen here is the vehicle is gonna be seized. We're not happy. The vehicle is going to be seized. Seized, yes. Under okay. section 41. Oh, this golden stupidity is killing me. You've been referring to other countries' laws this whole time, but if, when you think it conveniences you, you use Irish law. What a hypocrite. One of the road traffic act, mm -hmm. 1961. Okay, we do not believe that this insurance, proper insurance on this vehicle. Also, we have a disc on this, this vehicle that um, shows the registration number on that disc shows that it's stolen on our system. So we need to verify that and we need to get it properly checked. That is so strange. Okay. Now what we're going to offer you is a lift home because you have young children there and we can, we can facilitate you in that regard. Okay, because of the, the, the young children you have there. So it's up to yourself if you wish to take us up on that offer. Is that all right? I don't consent to that, no. I don't okay. wish to contract with you. Yeah, okay, that's no problem. Of course, you would see a lift home as a contract. Typical sovereign citizen BS. Even at the expense of your own family's well-being, you will not give this BS up. But oh wait, it gets better. He's about to bring out the fee schedule. This is going to be funny. We're going to give you back your documents now in a second, all right? Yeah. Is that fair enough? Yes, I need to go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Can you can we have the, the key of the car? Absolutely not. I'm not giving you the, my automobile. Okay, that's okay. We're, we're seizing it anyway. No, you're okay. not. Well, you're yes, not. We are if you are, then you agree to pay me a 1 million euro fee for trespassing on my automobile. No, sir, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm just... This is extremely funny because it actually quotes the UCC, which has no bearing on United States codes of law anyway, in addition to uh, supposed diplomatic immunity, there's a fee schedule for this on there saying it would be $1 million for this traffic stop, which given the current exchange rate between the euro and the dollar is just over $1 million U.S., my brain is melting over this. I'm just, I'm just it is ridiculous, you. just like exactly what you're doing right now. I'm just being polite to you. I'm, I'm being you very polite happening. with you as well. Yeah. And we'll figure it out in court and I'm so sure I'm going to win. You're turning down my, my offer of, uh, of a lift. Oh, the lift? Yeah. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I can take that one, yeah. But I'm turning down the offer of you taking my automobile. That's the offer I'm declining. I'm not consenting to that. I, you, unfortunately, no. you don't have to consent to anything. Why even bother looking up anything else this idiot has to say? He's already been proven wrong a dozen times already. So I'm just moving on from this point right here. No more. We're, we're seizing it. Okay, under under section 41 of the Road Traffic Act. We believe uh, there's no insurance. We believe there's, there's a false disc on the wind or a disc on the windscreen that relates to a stolen vehicle. The Road Traffic Act applies to persons. I'm a living man, not a person. Oh, you're a living man. Yes, of course. Thank God. It's, it says on my document yeah. there. Thank God. And you can confirm with yeah. your superior as well if you like. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to, to consult with anyone at the moment. Okay. Um, I'm quite happy. But you, you're quite entitled to seek legal advice if you so wish. Well, I know okay. exactly the law, so. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's so, good. Um, and and, and, and the, what what small bit of the law we know is that, that we have to satisfy ourselves. Yeah. In relation to this, okay. 
Do you understand what we're saying? No, I don't stand under your authority. I stand under common law. That's good. That's good. Well, we we we're, we're paid, unfortunately, to to, to deal scam with the people law. because this is what a scam is. It's a scam. This okay. is a scam. Is that yeah. what you think it is? That's what I know right. it is. You're entitled to your because reasons. you're taking away my automobile when I have not broken any crime. I have not done anything wrong. I think I've explained it to you now. First of all, thanks very yeah, much. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We're going to give you back your documents here now. You're refusing to hand over the keys. Am I right in that regard? That's correct, yeah. That's correct, okay. We're mm -hmm. seizing the car, okay. Which guard station you guys are on? Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. All right. Can I see your uh, warrant card, please? My, my shoulder number there. John no, I want Bo to see John the warrant. I want to see the warrant card. I know Sergeant that. here in Kentucky. Okay. okay. I want to see your warrant card. You don't have to see. Well, it. I do have to see it. You, yeah. That's the law. But when I, I when I ask for your warrant card, you, you have that? to show your warrant you card. See that? I'm just. Pu I'll put it into the camera here. Just the no, I already know. It. It. I already know that yeah. one. But John Bowen. No, but are you not carrying your or oath card with you? You're not. No. So I that means that you, anything that you do right now is is not. This is nothing. Are you not not happy who I am? No, absolutely not. I need to see your warrant card. Because if you don't have a warrant card, then how, how do I know who you are? You could be anybody impersonating your guard. All right, okay. But but you what you know what you are is you are a peace constable. You're a police. You're a police constable. Okay. Not on guard at Chicano. It's a private company. What's a, a private company? On guard at Chicano. Oh really? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. News to me. A lot of new things are going to be new for you. Okay. I tell you something. This sovereign system has gone so far down the rabbit hole, I don't think there's any escape for him. Do you have a driver's license registered in any country? I don't have a driver's license. I don't drive. You don't drive. Okay. So who did drive the car here today? Nobody drove the car. I traveled in the in my automobile today. Okay. You traveled? Yes. I'm a traveler. Right. On the side with the steering wheel. I think that's kind of obvious, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so for you to drive here, I didn't drive here. I said I traveled here right. so and did my automobile. Right. So you traveled here today. Yeah. You obviously require a driver's license. That's for commercial activity. Either that's way, what a driver's license is. Can you show me a driver's license that permits you to drive in Ireland? <sighs> the, what part of I'm not driving? Do you not understand? Because I said already I traveled in my automobile. Okay, you're just twisting words now. Do you have a driver's license at all, regardless of driving today or not? First of all, good job on the uh, officer for calling him out on his sovereign citizen bullshit, which not many officers are willing to do. And second of all, there's only one person around here who's twisting the uh, narrative around here, and that is this sovtard. I do. Okay, can I see it please? No. Why not? I don't want to give you guys any more details anymore. Okay, can you give me your address please? I don't have an address. You don't? I'm a traveler. I have a domicile. Where do you live? Domicile. I, I live inside my body. Ever since the day I came to a consciousness. Okay, you're just sounding silly now because clearly you've got a family and they yes. don't live inside your body. Where do they live? They live inside their own bodies. Okay. That's fine. You may return to your family inside. That's fine. I will save you the pain and suffering of having to sit through another 20 minutes of this, but his car is eventually towed and he wants to charge... 2 million euros for his so-called arrest and the towing of his car. Well, good luck, ass wife, trying to get that money. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.